Viewport Render is a powerful Blender add-on that lets you render your viewport in real time, whatever it's on the screen. Let's see how it works. So I have this scene here and I'm looking it through the camera and I am in material view, render view, solid and wireframe. Okay, so let's say that I want to render this image and I don't want to go through the render. I just want a, a preview of this. So the thing that I should do, I should technically, you know, get a screen grabber and, you know, draw something like this and it will never be precise and it will not be the right resolution. With VP render, I can just do render VP image and I have a full resolution view of basically my viewport. As you can see, I have all the settings here that I can get in the render output, right? But I have everything here, the format, color mode, and the frame for the animation. Let's say that I wanna do it at 50% resolution, and there you go. Perfectly what the camera is looking at. If I get out of the camera and I click render VP image, I still have basically the view. So it only matters where you are in your scene. If I put myself here, this is gonna be what I'm getting. So it's my view at full resolution without waiting for the render time and without you know screen grabbing everything. But the cool thing is the animation. Look, if I go into camera and let's say I place the camera here and I add a keyframe, then I move to 50 and I'm gonna move my camera around let's say at this point okay I'm just throwing a very simple animation very good I'm gonna set the keyframes in VP render let's say from 1 to 50 and also my timeline is gonna be updated and then render VP animation see what happens one after another it's rendering my frames at basically almost um, a frame per second and I'm basically rendering my viewport just for a preview or even for final render because you know you can go up to you know whatever resolution you want and you can see that it's perfect and this is in material view and when you get out in this case is actually rendering in uh, in, in single frames so in PNG but I can also get an mp4 if I go here in output and then you know the format encoding and I say mp4 um, and I set up my you know my destination for for the animation as usual and then you're gonna have exactly that but let's go in wireframe because in wireframe is really where VP render shines so let's say that you want to show to your clients or to your colleagues uh, how things are coming along. So let's get rid of this and let's get just a wireframe. So I want to frame this. I want to show the wireframe to somebody. Uh, what do I do? I do a screenshot? No, I go in VP render and I have a wireframe right here. But it's not only that because you can uh, hide whatever is in the scene. So you can make an actual scene out of your, uh, you know, wireframe. Show overlays or don't show overlays. Uh, you can basically uh, change the color of the background. Let's see the viewport. I want it to be, you know, like a black background. And I also want to change the color of this guy. So I'm going to object and then I put this to, let's say, red. And the plane, I want it to be yellow. Okay, so basically I can get this at full resolution. Then I go into my camera and I can shot an image at full resolution of my uh, wireframe. Imagine what you can do when you have a complex scene with a lot of things going on and you just want to show a preview or you just want to throw a quick render and let's say show how the animation is coming along and you don't have to go through the render. You can just, you know, render VP animation and it's going to do the job for you in whatever shade and whatever uh, view you have into your Blender scene. Uh, this is the version number two of VP Render that runs smoothly on uh, the newest version of Blender, in this case, as for now, the 3.4. And I strongly suggest you and I ask you kindly uh, to let me know if you have some special features that you would like to see in uh, VP Render and we will develop them for you. Thank you very much.